Hey guys, Craig Frost here for a Juicy Tuts tutorial and um, thanks for coming to this one. Uh, I'm going to be looking at some new powerful features in Adobe Photoshop CS6. Now I'm running the beta version here or beta, but um, the full release will have these features and more. But we're going to look at something called Content Aware Fill. Now I know previous versions of Photoshop have had these in but um, CS6 really hit it on the head. Let me show you what I mean. Um, let's start off by looking at this picture. This probably isn't the best picture to use for this example, but um, I'll go ahead with it anyway. Um, let's say, for example, on this tractor, this plow at the front here, it has these all these like paint scratches on it and where the paint's peeling off. Let's say this mark here down in the bottom left. Maybe we don't want this mark being here. Um, now back in the olden days you'd have to use the clone stamp brush tool to uh, clone that out. But um, we don't need to do that. Uh, this option was available in previous versions of Photoshop, CS5 for example. But um, we, we can use the spot healing brush here and as long as content aware is checked at the top there um, we can just paint over the area that we want to uh, cover up or get rid of and just as quickly as that Photoshop will get rid of it and look it's invisible you can't see that it was ever there um, likewise let's say say I like these two marks and I want to keep them there I mean this these could be people in your pictures or anything else this is like I said this was a bad example to use for this but um Let's say I want to keep these, but maybe I don't want them there. Maybe I want my marks down here, just here. Well, before you'd have to uh, make a selection around them, put them on a new layer, move them across, and then clone out the previous area. Not anymore. We can just uh, use this lasso tool, make a really rough selection around it, and then come to a new tool here. Again, press and hold, and come down to Content Aware Move tool. Now with this, it allows us to just move this selection to where we want. Not only will it move it and blend it in, it will also cover up where it was before. And look at that. You would never know that that wasn't there. Uh, okay, let's let's come up here. This lamppost, I don't really want this in the shot, to be honest. Uh, what can I do? Again, I could clone it out. But if we use a lasso tool, make a really rough selection around it just really rough. Uh, obviously you spend more time. The more accurate you are the more better the results you'll get. But hopefully this will work fine. Um, with this selection again if I I can do this is the same thing as using the uh, spot healing brush tool but I don't want to sit there and paint over it all so I make the selection come up to edit fill and make sure content aware is select and then press OK and it'll burn through that and once it's analyzed the image, we'll see the result, and hopefully it'll be pretty good and pretty usable. Uh, there it goes. And look at that. You'd never know that it wasn't there to begin with. And we have a little bit of a green thing down here, but that was my fault in the selection. But we'll come back to that. Now, let's say I have something in my shot that I don't want to be there that's in a tight area. Like, say, this badge here. Maybe I'm not allowed to advertise or something like that. I don't know. But you'd say, well, surely you'll just make the selection around it like you did with the lamppost and then fill it in. Well, you could do that, but um, let's see what happens. Remember, there's not enough area around it to sample from, so what's it going to do? It's going to sample from the closest spots to it, which obviously aren't this red badge color that we want, and it's pretty obvious that something's gone wrong there. Um, so let's get rid of that. What I can do, though, is use a new tool in CS6 which is called the patch tool. I can select this and then on my selection I can just drag to any area of the image that I want to uh, put in this space I've selected. So let's come down here and maybe this red area with some scratches on it will fit and it will burn through it and Photoshop will even color correct it to the area and look at that. These scratches don't at all look like I've grabbed them from down here, yet they work in the uh, picture. So I wonder, doing this again, maybe I can use this to get rid of the um, green lamppost just in here. This, this might not work. 
because it is quite close to the tractor but we'll see how powerful this is so again if I come up and use the patch tool and just drag it up and select this area here join it in a bit and release oh, it's done it's not too bad job there's a little bit of a green there but my selection wasn't tight because I weren't sure what it was going to do but um, that works pretty well so there you go you can see uh, just a few content aware things in CS6 uh, so you've got the uh, spot healing brush tool with content aware fill on it you can make a selection with content aware fill which you could do in CS5 but we also now have the patch tool so you can move to an area of the image that you want to sample from and also content aware move which these these two new features are just absolutely amazing I think and they're great and I think they will have many applications in other photos especially with people and um, maybe I'll try them out in the future with probably a better image than this but there you go thank you for watching i hope you found this useful uh i'm craig frost and you can uh s subscribe and uh you know rate and comment and all that stuff on youtube that you people do uh we have a twitter as well twitter.com forward slash juicy tuts uh this is the boring bit signing off um have a uh, you've have you had a good weekend uh, is it a weekend when you're watching this have a good week day uh did you see the match last night? i'm i'm just going to go okay thanks for watching guys see ya bye <laughs>